Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best free cards currently in NBA 2K24, my team. Top of cards you should be grinding for to start the year off. Got mode specific rewards here, level up rewards, other stuff as well. So, definitely cards you should be grinding to get to add to your squad, especially if you are more of a no money spent player. Some of these cards are some of the best cards in the game, though. So, very some very good free rewards that you can pick up early in the year. So, hopefully, uh, y'all are enjoying my team so far. I certainly am. And if you are enjoying the videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 13,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I'm uploading every single day, tons and tons of content and would really, really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. But all that being said, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Starting off with the first card. Number 10 is going to be Isaiah Ryder, who is a very solid option at the shooting guard or small forward position. Does not have elite size at only six foot five. So he is not incredibly big or anything like that, as I cannot type. But... 6568 wingspan 83 speed and excel is good he's a pretty good shooter and he's a very good slasher okay enough defender as well pretty decent defender while being fast and a decent shooter but also a very solid slasher is a very very solid card does not have a great release though or great movement or anything along those lines but overall he's a very very solid card number nine another solid option at the shooting guard position is going to be desmond bain we got back to back to back actually shooting guards to start off this list desmond bain coming in at number nine at 65 with a 64 wingspan again not super tall and short arms but 70 for speed and excel while not amazing he does he is an elite level shooter and he's a very solid enough defender as well 80 perimeter 80 lateral plays defense at a pretty high level he's got a pretty bulky player build which helps him out on the defensive end okay slasher not great but while he's not super fast i do like his release a lot and he actually moves very well as well mj dribble style is nice and overall i just think he's a pretty darn good card i'm a fan of desmond bain at the shooting guard position and overall i think he's a little bit better than isaiah Ryder. he's the 50 card collector level reward i did not include sean marion by the way because uh, he's the top collector level reward but i don't think he is reasonably attainable as a free no money spent type player so he's not a card that i included on this list even though he is technically a free reward i guess for getting to 500 cards collected that would cost a lot of money at this point in the game i think so i will not consider him on this list now bruce bowen is coming in at number eight as y'all saw i didn't mention that yet but he is six seven six ten ring spend so he's an elite three and d shooting guard and that's exactly what bruce bowen does he plays three or he plays d and he shoots threes 78 speed 75 excel not crazy but not horrible 85 star three though is really good and he's an elite level um, defender now release is good as well going with that Quindary Weatherspoon base Wes Matthews upper is really really solid and uh, I mean he's an overall very good card but pure three and D he's basically budget clay is what this card is he's like 90% of what clay gives you very very good option though at number seven now number six gonna go with Mr. Alonzo Mourning who is the triple threat offline 100 wins reward very good card as well 610 7 6 wingspan very good wingspan he's nice and fast for a center he's a very good interior defender with a decent enough three-pointer as well he can hit an open three he's not slow and he's got a very very nice wingspan plus he's a very very good interior defender gold anchor this is a very very solid card now his movement is terrible his release is not good but he can hit a wide open three and he definitely is going to be very good on the interior on both ends of the court with those long arms and with the really nice interior badges so very solid card for sure now coming in at number six gonna go with sam jones here um sam jones i would say is good i wouldn't say he's unbelievable by any means but i do think he's a pretty darn good option at the shooting guard position shooting guard position isn't the strongest position in my opinion but sam jones he's fast and he's an exceptional shooter with really good shooting badges his release is also really really good and he's an okay defender as well he's not an incredible slasher he can get up and get the dunk down he does have a pretty good wingspan at six seven not super tall but money release really i think the best shooting guard that we've seen so far i know we have a lot of shooting guards in the bottom five but i promise we're not going to Put a bunch more shooting guards in the top five but i do think sam jones is a good card i just don't think the shooting guard position is that deep in general which is why these guys are a little bit lower on the list even though there are a lot of solid shooting guard rewards pal gasol comes in at number five for me i think pow is really good seven foot seven four wingspan the ability to play power forward or center i would play him at center being only 64 speed but he can hit open threes he's a very good standing dunk guy very good interior defender again kind of similar to alonzo morning not quite as fast but a little more well-rounded a little bit better shooter better release probably not great release and his movement's still going to suck, but I think he's a better option than Alonzo Mourning by a little bit, which is why he cracks in the top five. Number four going to be this De'Aaron Fox card for the current domination. It's also a really good card. He's not the greatest shooter in the world, but he's super fast. 91 speed in Excel, 75 driving dunk is more, more than high enough and an 81 lateral quickness as well. He's got the great gold flaming badges like Speed Booster and things like that. Um, he's really, really nice. Very, very good card for sure. For his De'Aaron Fox. Um, a 74 three ball as well isn't super high, but his release is really nice. He's got a fast release as well. He's just a really, really good 
good card. Darren Fox is always a nice early game card. Gets this Ruby card. He's definitely one of the better free rewards in my team. Number three, Magic Johnson. He can play center. I think this is such a cool card because Magic at point guard would be so OP right now, but Magic at center is not OP. That being said, he's very cool and very fun. An 83 speed, 83 excel center who can slash a little bit, elite passer, can create his own shot, has a little bit nice sigs, and can hit a wide open three. Is a really interesting card. Obviously, he's going to struggle on the interior against actual centers. No doubt about it, but he can at least rebound a decent bit. They give him okay rebounding, and he is decently tall at 6'9", still. So that's not super short yet this year. He can hit a wide open three, and his movement is pretty nice. He's always got some glitchy behind the back stuff and things like that. Card is really nice, honestly. I like Magic. Very fun card to use. Definitely am enjoying trying him out, and I think for a level up card, very cool, fun card to get. Now, Brandon Roy is coming in at number... Sorry, no... Well, I just spoiled number one. I think y'all knew Brandon Roy was going to be number one, though. We all we all knew that, right? But Kyrie Irving, I'm sorry, is number two, who is the best point guard in the game and the best card in the game right now because Brandon Roy isn't quite available, but he will be very soon. Now, 93 speed and excel, 92 shot three. Those are the fastest speed and excel and fastest shot three that we have seen all day. Sorry, highest shot three that we've seen all day. Defense is also really good at this point in the year for a PG. 86 lateral weakness, 80 steel, 76 perimeter is actually really, really solid. And he's got silver glove interceptor and pick dodger, which is super nice. Can get ankle braces as well. Um, really elite shooter, though, with half limitless range, half agent three half hammers for this half hyper drive the movement and the shooting is incredible on this card i understand he can't dunk i don't care best point guard in the game it's really not close Kyrie Irving is incredible amazing free card and then finally we have brandon roy as well who is the best will be the best card in the game when he is available truly here in the next day or so when somebody completes him six foot six six eight wingspan hot slots from everywhere outside the three not a ton of gold and half badges but like six hoffs is still crazy fast twitch posterizer uh he's going to have limitless takeoff or whatever the equivalent in this game is on gold he's got really solid shooting badges bronze limitless range silver handles for days he's got the speed booster badge at least some his movement is really good he's super fast elite shooter and elite slasher brandon roy is going to be the best card in the game at six seven at the shooting guard position this card is going to be absolutely amazing and i cannot wait to add him to my squad sorry six seven but still sorry six six not six seven but still he's going to be incredible so that is the final card on this list and this is my list of the top 10 free cards in my team right now so let me know what y'all think of my list down in the comment section down below if there's anybody you think you would add or take off the list uh, anybody else put too low or too high uh let me know let me know which free cards y'all are rocking with who y'all are grinding for what y'all are thinking of 2k24 my team as a whole so far so hopefully you did enjoy the, like i said if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace